What's up guys? I wanna show you guys today how to rebuild a leveling valve. Oh yes, it can be done. Instead of ordering a part and waiting on it, or if it's sitting in your shop and you need to get it out, I wanna show you guys how to rebuild it, save yourself a whole lot of time and a lot of money. Take a look. Man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times are hard in Mississippi. What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to show you a leveling valve, what's inside it, and what makes it work. <clears throat> this one's pretty much dicked up pretty bad. So there's not gonna be any rebuilding it just for the simple fact we couldn't get the two bolts out. So we had to, I'll show you what we had to do with it. <clears throat> but I'll show you how guys, how you can rebuild your leveling valve instead of buying a new one. A new one's, we just purchased one. It was a TRP for one of the Peterbilts. And it was uh, 99 bucks, I believe, in MHC, so. That sucks, throw away that kind of money. But anyway, I'm gonna jerk this thing apart and show you guys kind of what's in it and how you can rebuild them as long as your bolts don't get screwed up. All right, we've already got the bolts loose on it. Of course, you can see we had to cut that one off with a grinder. But anyway, here's what's inside it. It's nothing more than an O-ring. And inside this piece, let me get it loose. You've got another O-ring, which is right here. Let me get it off that way and show you guys what we're working with here. So that's two O-rings. Inside of these is a spring clip. And how we knew this one was bad when it was all back together, when you pushed on the arm, you hear pss, 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 pss. And that comes from these right here. You can see they're spring loaded down in there. And that's all there is to a leveling valve, guys. So you got these two little bad boys right here to replace. I can get them off there. Which we're not gonna replace them. This one's garbage just because we couldn't get the bolts or bad. But they come in an O-ring kit that you can get at Napa or somewhere. Well, well. If this thing wasn't on camera, this thing would just pop right off there. There we go. All right, that's gonna be the same exact O-ring on this side. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, but right there. All right, so I got it off of that one. So you're looking at a total of one, two, you're gonna have two of these, so that'll be four O-rings. And that's all that's inside of a leveling valve. It's super easy. Just replace the little ones back on here. When you get them done, you can spray that with brake cleaner and all this. I heard it. Pop them back in there. Of course, make sure you got the new O-rings on them. And then uh, put your new O-ring here. Your other new O-ring back in here. Line it back up and put your pins back in it. So anyway, guys, instead of spending a whole hundred bucks on another leveling valve and you want to rebuild them yourself, you see it's not anything to it as long as you can get the bolts loose, which this one broke off. That's why we had to cut it off, but I thought it'd be a prime opportunity to show you guys what's inside of a leveling valve and how to replace it. Anyway, hope this guy's helps you. Hope this guy's helps you. Hope this helps you guys. Anyway, if it does, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down here below. You guys have a great week. We'll catch you next time.